Good morning, you guys. Can you believe it is already the school holidays again? It literally blows my mind. We haven't been, oh, we've had a few sleepovers. We've had some friends stay over. The girls have been to their friend's house. Indy's going to another sleepover tonight. Um, and today, we're just having a pretty chill day. It's actually been three weeks since I had my Molly Mole appointment. So today I'm going in to get it cut out and they're gonna check Indy's and see whether or not hers needs to get removed as well. So fingers crossed it doesn't. Um, but yeah, we'll just see what the doctor says. So yeah, as I said, we're just gonna start off the day pretty crazy. I'm gonna get all the dishwasher dishes unpacked and the new ones put in, and then we're gonna head off to the doctor's. to go but check out my baby's hair <laughs> she's got blue hair did you wash it yet you need to wash it before you go out today what is that in your hair that red string I don't know. <laughs> she looks like a little mermaid Elfie's come to say hello Elf say hi friends hey hello oh I love you so yeah we are gonna head off and we'll see you guys after we're done. Oh, I need to show you my little mole before it gets removed too. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the mole in question here. I don't know if I've already showed you guys. But yeah, it started off really small, like just a little freckle. And then it grew bigger and darker. So yes, this is the one that's giving me all the grief. Okay guys, we are back. I got mine removed. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can show you guys because I've got a bandagey thing over top of it. But it was all done really, really quickly. Indy didn't need to get hers removed, which was amazing. So I think she must have had like a saw or a scab connected to her mole on her leg. And now that's gone. They're like, oh no, that's fine. So I'm so happy that hers is all fine. She didn't need to get it done. I just have to call back in two weeks to get my results and see where we go from there. But we are going to grab some lunch now. I picked up some of my favorite salads from Coles. I've shown you these, I think, before. They're the Naked Burrito Salad. I love these so much. So I'm gonna eat that and whip up the kids some lunch as well. And then we're just gonna chill out today. We also need to go visit Nanny Poodle, so we might try and do that later today or tomorrow. And just check in on her, see how she's doing, make sure she's not playing up. She's so funny. So mum and dad just arrived for a little game of you know, and then we're gonna head out for lunch. Miss Moo has been winning them all. Yeah, chocolate <laughs> she's so good. Oh no, I don't think I showed you guys. We've got our um, shed delivered. <laughs> It's gone now. In pieces. In pieces. But Tones is going to put it together on the weekend. Elfie's been up here sunbaking on it. <laughs> He's so funny. You playing again? One more. And then we'll go for lunchies. Championship round. Who's going to win? Me. A few inches later. Okay guys, it's now night time. I'm about to start dinner. We had a really nice time out with mum and dad. We just went to this cafe and it was 
really yummy. So tonight for dinner, I'm going to make parmy. I feel like that's all I'm making lately is parmy. Should I just do schnitzel? No, I really feel like parmy. I'm going to do parmy. Um, we don't have indie here, but I'm still going to just make extra. Um, or should I do fish? I got this fish from Aldi's the other day. Have you guys tried it before? I thought the coconut and lime flavor sounded really nice. But maybe I'll just stick to old trusty. I'm going to make the kids some of these. They love these little T-Rex bites. So I'll make them. And then where did I put? Oh, there it is. This is the one that Tones and I are going to have tonight. They're just the chicken breast schnitzel palmy style ones. So I will transform those into palmies. And then we're just going to have some McKay, McKay's, gosh, I'm so tired, um, McCain super fries crinkle cut chips with them. Plus, we'll do some veggies as well. So it's not such an unhealthy meal. I'll do some carrots. Oh, and I need to give the guinea pig some carrots too. And some celery. Open my pretty. I'll grab them out a handful. They're so funny. I wonder if they'll be chirpy for you guys. friend go low look yeah yeah winnie girl winnie girl yummy <laughs> they're so funny i love these little guinea pigs they're the funniest Ugh. enjoy my friends so i didn't get to eat my salad today which is all good i'm gonna eat that tomorrow instead um and in terms of like my leg I've heard that it can be quite painful, but I haven't really had any pain yet. I don't know if that's weird or not. I did take two Panadol as soon as I got home, um, and maybe that's helped. I don't know. If you've had anything removed off your body, let me know. I just... Who's that? Oh, it's Tone. So yeah, I'm not too sure whether it's still coming. Maybe tonight when I'm trying to sleep, it'll be giving me grief. Anyway, I'm going to get started on Din Din's and I'll put you guys on a time lapse and we'll cook together. So painfully quiet and slow. I try my best to move.
Hey guys, dinner is all done. It was really, really yummy. I ended up adding some gravy as well, just so it wasn't so dry. And I find that gravy just makes the world of difference. So I'm going to finish up today's vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching my videos and coming and hanging out with me. It really does mean the world to me. So thank you. And I hope to see you in my next one. I hope you've all had a beautiful day. And if it's been a tough time, just remember that there's always tomorrow. There's always new and positive things to look forward to. So I'm going to get going, get these dishes done and go and dive into bed. But I love you all so very much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye guys.